Uh, I'm going to ask another question, sir, because as you can see here, Okta is leading in our information security sector, and it looks like the spending intentions among your peers are still increasing. Uh, however, I hear all the time from you and your peers that the pricing of Okta is getting to the point where it's very difficult to continue re-upping that when budget time comes along. So mm -hmm. I was curious, sir, you did say you were using one of the competitors. Um, I, I would be interested in what is out there that is a good competitor to Okta that might be saving you some money. I, I know some of your peers are going with more of a platform approach, whether that be with uh, Cisco uh, overall. Uh, they, they do a very good job in layering different aspects of security that they've acquired over time. And another one that's out there that I've heard about Fortinet, I've heard some of your peers call Forta everything because they, they'll give you a little bit of everything as a platform play. So I'm just curious from, from sort of that, uh, you know, identity management, single sign on that protection layer, sir, what is a good alternative to, to Okta out there? So I, I wouldn't say it is a, uh, you know, part or, or alternative, it is absolutely a very different product. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm talking about Jump Cloud. Okay. <clears throat> so, you know, Okta only does a basic directory or SSO uh, versus a Jump Cloud, which does your, uh, you know, uh, cloud directory, it does your LDAP, it does your SSO, it does your, uh, you know, radius authentication. So it is one stop shop for, you know, anything to do with your enterprise architecture. Uh, uh, and, you know, uh, having a very hybrid model within us, we also realize that, you know, only having uh, something which will, you know, help us uh, protect, um, uh, let's say, you know, identity in terms of directory or just SSO will not suffice. And we might end up doing, you know, adding one or two more tools to ensure that the overall enterprise is protected. Uh, but if you look at Jump Cloud, I think it does a brilliant work. Uh, uh, which also means that, and, and, and primary reason for us to, you know, uh, uh, select Jump Cloud was that it actually supports a hybrid <coughs> uh, or heterogeneous model, right? I mean, mm -hmm. I, we have mix of Linux, Windows, Mac, uh, and these are not like, you know, two, 5%, these are good 10, 20% mix. Uh, and that also ensures that, you know, we have a overall authentication from one ID, uh, logging onto your Wi-Fi logging onto your VPN, logging onto your, uh, you know, let's say mailing solutions, anything on your cloud, uh, any SaaS based tools, everything is covered. Uh, uh, of course, the application just needs to uh, have an either SSO or an LDAP kind of a support. Uh, but yeah, I think it covers most of these uh, points pretty well. And uh, on top of that, it of course gives you a MFA kind of a, you know, authentication, which a normal tool would have some lim limitations. Uh, it also goes uh, one level and gives you a, a access uh, level uh, de definition, right? So I, I, I can actually define what access do I need to give to one user in particular application rather than just giving him, a, a, you know, all the access. Uh, that is also one of the, uh, you know, I think feature which we thought was very important. And uh, I think uh, on top of that, uh, they also have something called directory insights, uh, which gives you end to end uh, uh, audit of what an user does uh, in, you know, the entire day. So of course you can go, uh, you know, probably search a three month uh, uh, access details because, you know, it is, this is what is important uh, in today's, uh, you know, day and age when you just need to find out what went wrong, uh, you know, who logged in and, you know, where, when was that login happened, right? I mean, we could act, do that with logging on to multiple applications, finding out those details, then merging it to some kind of solution. But here, I think it gives you a very clear and detailed uh, result of, you know, who logged in, when, why, how, uh, and of course it has certain amount of other limitations in terms of, you know, how do you want to allow those users? Uh, do you only want to allow those users from a certain specific, uh, IPs or do you want to allow that user to access that from anywhere? So there are some, some, uh, you know, of course, uh, many features, but I think these, these were some of the, uh, uh, uh you know, uh, valuable, uh, you know, uh, features that we thought was very important for a enterprise like us. 
That's great feedback. It's not a company I know very well, so I'm going to look into it, but it sounds as if it not only does the um, the SSO and the MFA of Okta, but the identity governance of what a sale point will give you as well. Um, so that's, it so, sounds like- So it's, it's a US-based company, uh, you know, uh, headquartered out of Boulder. So I'm, I'm sure uh, not, not many <laughs> people know about it, but I think uh, it, it, they have done a brilliant job. 